Hey there, 3D printing peeps. Hey there, Bamboo Lab Studio users and P1PX1C owners. I'm here to give you a quick intro to painting supports and support blockers in Bamboo Studio. As you know, there are several support options under the support tab. Unlike Cura, where the higher the number, the lower the supports. In Bamboo, the lower the number, the lower the supports. Because Bamboo studies the angle of the model to the bed, as opposed to the angle of the model to the model. So in Cura, your setting of 60 would be equivalent to 30 in Bamboo Studio. Those of you coming from Cura are used to seeing your overhangs marked in color. And Bamboo Slicer does not do this here in the default prepare view, which can be frustrating. But click on the model and click on the support painting option or press L on your keyboard. And surprise, your overhangs are now showing. Let's slice this and we'll see how it looks. So here's what it looks like with the current settings on auto tree supports. Take a look at this gigantic thing. We know that the P1P can probably handle this overhang. Even if it was a touch rough, it's the underside inside the mask out of sight. So even if this first layer was a little rough, it would then smooth out for the visible portion of this mask. And I don't see the need to add all the time necessary and all the material necessary to print this gigantic tower of tree supports. Also, let's take a look at how it supports this mask. You will see that there is some support right here, just along the crown of the skull here. And that is responsible to hold the whole model in place until the next tree support grabs a hold of it here at the eyes. I feel like it's a tall order to ask the printer to build this thing at an angle like this with only this section of support holding it in place, fighting gravity. So I will paint some supports onto the sides of the model here and here so that the supports grab a hold of the model and keep it in place a lot sooner while it builds up till it holds on here at the eyes and then again up top here. How do we do this? We are going to do it by painting supports and support blockers. So rotate the model, give it a tilt and click on support painting. There you will see this is the orange overhang marker indicating it's going to place support there. So we are going to grow our pen size nice and large so that it's easy to paint this section and we are going to right click, not left click, right click. Right clicking will paint a support blocker. This red blob means it will not print supports in this section, even if the overhang selected calls for it. On the other hand, we want to add additional supports here on the crown of the skull in order to help the model stay put while it builds supports up to the eye supports. To do that, we are going to left click. Left click will paint supports on, right click will paint support blockers. Now we can't see the bed in this view, which is somewhat unfortunate, and you will not see the brown because it's within the overhang specifications. So we will make our own decisions. I am going to paint these supports behind and inside so that the support is not on the visible surface of this mask. I will choose a small pen size. I will zoom in and get the rotation that I want. And I will just drag down the model a bit. And then of course there's no mirroring here. So we will drag down the other side in roughly the same spot. You'll see I wrapped around the model a bit. I don't want that. You see that? So we are gonna come inside just a bit more. I'm doing this in a hurry, obviously. You will do this more carefully. And there you go. You'll see that my support paint is not going to be on the visible portion of the mask. Go ahead and slice. And would you look at that? The supports are not being generated where we painted our support blocker. And here is the new manually painted on supports 
on the side of the mask. I feel a lot more confident that this thing will only have to build up to here before new supports will attach to the model and help hold it steady in place while it prints the rest until it gets to the next section of supports. Of course, by the time it gets up top, it will have a three tiered section of supports to hopefully hold this model steady while it prints this taller, thinner section without supports. And there you go. There are many ways to discuss supports and support painting, and there are many use scenarios that would require different things but this is the basics of how and why to use the support painting function. And here you can see our painted on supports being built on the side of our model. All right, guys, here it is. Here is the custom supports that we made. And you can see no supports up by the mouth. And the custom supports on the side did a great job. It already broke off. <laughs> One of them is right there on the bed. That, my friends, is how you increase your success by painting your supports on or off and being in control. What's your favorite scary movie? Now you can go ahead and implement this into some of your difficult models to either help add additional support or remove supports to save time and material. Let me know how you utilize support painting to improve your 3D printing success in the comments.